Hi, it's Susie here. Welcome to my cottage. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm here today to do a what's in my pencil case or pencil cases in my case and I hope you enjoy. This one I'm starting with is my everyday use one. So it stays with me wherever I am. If I'm working on my journal on the sofa, it's over on the sofa with me. If I'm sitting at my desk, it'll be at my desk with me. And the other pencil cases I will show you are things that are not used quite as regularly as these ones. So let's start. This is an Erin Condren six cases. It does squeeze right up. If you saw my haul video then you will have seen me hauling this one so first of all at this end the dark blue one let's move that off to the side so I keep some sticky notes in here and then pretty much everything I use is here so I've got a couple of rulers and paper clip <laughs> Then I have a couple of gold pens. Oh, let's just put that down there. A couple of gold pens. And I like to use the Uniball Signo. This one's just a cheapy one that I don't know where that came from. But hey, but I, I, I prefer the Uniball Signo as a gold pen. Then there is the Uniball Signo Broad White Gel Pen that I like to use. And that's my favourite white gel pen. Then I've got this mechanical pencil. It's a Graph Gear 1000 from Pentel and it's a 0.5. And that's my favourite pencil. Then I have this Muji, which is made in Japan, and this one's the 0.5. So you can see that's um, just a fairly thin gel pen. Next I have a Paper Mate Flare Ultra Fine in black. And that's just a very, oops, I'm going, very thin tip there. And that's kind of like a felt pen. Then I've got a Sharpie S gel in the 0.7. I um, haven't used this particular one, but I've got one somewhere that I've used. <laughs> but I like to keep one of those in there. Then basically what's left, oh no, beg your pardon, there's the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in black, and that's the brush pen. So that one lives in there as well. Then I've got the Papermate Flare in medium that one i have a medium z grip i don't know why that's even in my pencil case because i never use it um the pilot g2 in black the 07 and the pilots are my absolute favorite i have to say the pilot g2 07 in a turquoisey teal color and my favourite pen of all, all at the moment is the Pilot G207 and that's in the black blue. So I really like that. So that's the first pocket that we come across. Let's put everything back in there. So that's my most used pens and pencils. The next pocket has my favourite at the moment which are the Zig Clean colour dots and I've got six of the metallic and four of the ordinary colours I'm still got plenty to say for and get but um, I use these on a daily basis in my daily creative journal so yeah that's that's all of those. The metallic ones are beautiful, I have to admit. I really, really like them. I'm so glad I chose to get them next. I only bought the four set to start with because I wasn't sure I'd even really use them, but I do. 
daily. <laughs> so the next zip along is where my Tombos live. Not all of them, but the ones that I'm currently using. And I've gone on to some spring colours now. So, yeah, that's... Um, so I'm just turning the light to see if I can get it not to shine on the mat so much. Right, yes, yeah, so these are the springy colours. I've got some others that are sort of darker ones, um, but more summer colours, I would say. So I love these. I, love, I use the brush end and the um, little thin tip end as well. So I thoroughly recommend these pens. They're not cheap, but you know if you if you like to use a brush pen and you do brush lettering or anything like that, I would say these are a must. I'm learning or trying to attempt to do some more brush lettering. I'm not very good at it at the moment. The only thing is they are quite long and they only barely fit into this pencil case. So next one along we've got this grey one and this grey one holds all my mild liners both the brushes and the standard style of um, mild liner I think I've got all of well no I probably haven't got all of the standard ones now because I started buying the brush ones but yeah there's a, a good selection in there for sure and some of them I've got in the brush and the bold marker they both have a small tip on the end as well so yes I love these I love these almost as much as my dot dot pens because they're great for highlighting things obviously that's what they're meant for the brush ones are great for learning brush lettering with and also sort of marking little areas that you might want to be using so this one here has got all my vintage sarasa clip pens from zebra and they're all the 0.5s Oops, sorry, it's not very clear, is it? So I've got two sets of these. So I've got quite a few colours. Just take out the ones that aren't these. But yeah, this, this is a vintage collection and they write beautifully. And sometimes I'll change it up in my journaling and pick out one of these if I'm doing a more vintage type spread. So that's the Sarasa, uh, Zebra Sarasa clips in 0.5 in the vintage colours. And then these ones are new ones that I've just got and these are the Unipin Fine Line Water and Fade Proof Pigment Ink and they have a brush tip and I got them in light grey in black in dark grey and sepia and I thought these would be handy for because they're different colours and they're brush pens again so they're quite nice to work with so yeah that's everything in that one and then we finally get to the end the other end and this has got a load of stuff that I need while I'm planning and creative journaling and everything so I've got a sticks to permanent glue marker I use the Tombow Mono correction tape my favorite glue is the Giotta stick and I get these 
um, online and they're only two pounds each for these great big 40 gram ones I've got my favorite pair of scissors That's those ones and these are the ones that you just squeeze to use and sometimes when my hands are playing up that's what I need and in here I've got the dot liner junior which is another glue I think that one came in um, your creative studio box at some point um, I've got another Tombow mono correction tape I've got a small pair of scissors in here which I don't use very often but and then I've got my tweezers which I use a lot trying to get hold of things and then I've got some tabs that are already made and another post-it note book there so that's everything and that is my main pencil case I say I store it wherever I am basically and everything I need fits in there so that's that one right I'll just put that out the way okay the next one this is a pencil case from the happy planner and it was in one of the boxes um, seasonal box things uh, that they put out and this is make your dreams happen I think this was a oh I can't think can't think no mine's gone this one contains all my spare big marketing market is it marker pen marking pens yeah so the, this is a spare set that I've got because I bought these and then I bought the one that's on a carousel which has got the, the fine and the thicker point pens in it um, thoroughly recommend these if you're wanting pens to colour with this is the the thicker end one and I haven't got any of the thinner ones here they're, they're in my in my other area of places that I store pens so basically yes this is a spare set that I just keep together should I need them so that's that pencil case can't think where this one came from offhand it could have been oh what's it called simply gilded sub box when I was getting them but this just holds bits and pieces uh, another pair of scissors in there elastic band little bookmark tractor my favorite murder weapon <laughs> that's my letter opener and another metal ruler so they're just bits and pieces that kind of wouldn't go anywhere else really so that's those and that's the pencil case there I love the pencil case it's really pretty sort of that Greek style tile pattern with little pom-poms it's lovely okay next one another pencil case I do love my pencil cases especially when they're big ones like this so this one holds all my Posca paint pens the opened ones and the still sealed ones it doesn't however have the coloured ones that I've got they're elsewhere at the moment but now I've sorted all these out I will oh that's a gold one but I will put the, all the coloured ones together as well. So these are all the black and white ones in various sizes. This is the smallest size. This is a 0.7. And it's the one without the metal tip. So that's that size. Oh, there's a silver one in that, that size as well. I think that's all I've got and um, these come in varying sizes this one here the great big fatty is a seven mil millimeter so i've got those in black and white black and white obviously the ones i use 
most. Uh, this one is a 5M. M's as well. Oh, there's a hair. Yes, they're all five M's. Then these ones are. No, that's not. That's a smaller one. This one is the three M in the black, and that's a three M. That's a three M. Oh, that's a 5M, should have gone back in, in the case. Whoops. These little short ones are one millimetre bullet shaped. So, that's that one. So that's the second biggest that they do. So yeah, that's all my Posca paint pens. I will try and leave links to all these different pen sets at the uh, the description down below don't forget to have a look there and see what's what's there now these ones these are the amazon permanent mark amazon basics permanent marker ultra fine point so oh why are you not showing oh i'm all over the place i beg your pardon yeah, so that's the ultra fine point and that's the Amazon basics and I think I've got a full set there. Then in this side I have the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Permanent Markers which are similar and they too oops, they too have the little tiny nib there too. And then in the middle have my favourite hybrid dual metallic pens one one point zero point tip and this is the set well or at least it was the biggest set when I bought them but I love these if you want really really nice glitter pens then spend a little bit more and get this set because they are stunning absolutely stunning and of course each set with these dual hybrids come with two colors so this one is green and metallic blue and each of them that one's just silver this one is pink and metallic pink blue and metallic green violet and metallic blue orange and metallic yellow black and metallic red and this one's just gold but i really recommend those because they are stunning especially if you do coloring or you just need something that's a bit glitzy even for, for writing with and what have you so we're on to the last run of pencil cases and this is my second pencil pouch expanding pencil pouch that I picked up from Erin Condren and this holds things that I just don't need on a daily basis but I need them near me for when I do it or it holds a lot of spares and rulers and pencils and, and just basically things that I sometimes need but don't always so I've got a load of spare Pilot G2s here make sure I, can. I do buy them quite often I've got the um, Sharpie S gels which again I'm, I'm not used to writing with that but I do like it I've got pencil here which is just a HB pencil and another couple of rulers I've got a couple of pretty pens which I think were from 
not sure not sure who they were from i got this lovely one with the purpley and blue bits that move and a little swan on so those are in there i've got a spare moody pen i have a blade exacto blade more pretty pens that one's never been used but i just keep oh simply gilded that one these ones i absolutely love they're golden rose gold colored but they're ballpoint pens but boy oh boy do they write nicely <laughs> and they were three for a pound in in our pound shop so those are those are good this is another one that i like it's the paper mate ink joy gel and this is the 0.5 and this one is who's this one from can't think can't think who that one's from but that's just another pen in there and this is my palette knife which i use for tearing washi or stickers or what have you when i'm planning so that's that's that one now my favoured, I'm just going to take a quick sip of drink while I'm telling you, my favoured size pen is a 0.7. I think it suits my handwriting, although sometimes a 0.5 is absolutely needed, especially if I need to get smaller, get my writing smaller, and sometimes even the 0.35 or anything between a, a 0.1 and a 0.5 five if it's a really tight space or for drawing so sorry about that I just I thought I was going to lose my voice for a moment if I didn't take a sip so let's move on to pouch two and this one again has a multitude of pens oops <laughs> that's my there's more movies in there there's this one which says count your rainbows and it's a beautiful rainbow pen this one is a lovely silver pen and this one's pretty greens and blues oh that's a pen gems pen that's a point see if they say on them that just says count your rainbows so I don't know who that's from but it could well be a pen gems one as well this one is another subscription box which I've completely forgotten at the moment this one is a Hobonichi Techo which I don't use at all <laughs> and these are just simply lettering magazine that's a calligraphy italic creative and that's another simply lettering magazine so these are these are just odds and bits and pieces that i might even sell one day now i must say that although i seem to have a lot of pencil cases here i have an entire white 60 centimeter wide drawer full of pens i have a 40 centimeter wide drawer full of pens and i have about six mugs with them so i do have rather a lot but a lot of them will be going in a d stash so this one has all my spare sarasas and pilot pens in in colors so that's that's the same one that's in my pencil case at the moment these are all sarasa zebra sarasa clips in the 0.5 so i have a mix of the pilot g2s and the zebra sarasas clips here and that's not the only handful that's the other handful as well so i have a load of those did i ever tell you that i've got a pen fetish <laughs> oh not fetish no sorry that's not right the right word an obsession with collecting full sets of pens this one has all my white pens in it except that signo which is silver don't know how that's managed to get in there but these are the 0.5 
jelly roll secure jelly rolls and there's two of those this is a hybrid gel grip in white this is a Sarasa clip 0.5 in white and this is a Uniball Signo broad and then I have jelly rolls in the 08 and that's a jelly roll in the 1.0 or 10 as they call it so that's all the white pens and they're more used in art and things like that and final pen case finally I've got some more glue stick there I've got a colour pencil blender pen I've got two pairs of scissors I've got my makeup brush for brushing away pencil sha uh, rubber, sha rubber shavings from the erasers I've got a Tihu electric razor and I've also got a Derwent electric razor and the Tiwoo one can take thick or thin erase it's their erasers I've got a slice tool which is used for cutting stickers and things like that I have a need needed needable eraser <laughs> I can't say words today and I've also got a mono zero eraser from Tombow and that's a really tiny little eraser there for really tiny spaces and then I also have some spare erasers in here too so that is pretty much it for things that I have in my pencil case I have scissors that are too big to go in here I have other cutters I have various glues glue sticks and everything and basically yes so that's all my pencil cases if you want me to show other collections of pens just let me know down below I really appreciate you sticking with me I will try and list as many as I can down below in in the info box so please check check that out if you're interested in looking at some pens and if you've joined me for the first time please consider subscribing just hit the subscribe button and the bell icon where you'll be able to get notifications of all videos that I put up and if you've been here before please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content of this video leave me a comment down below and tell me if you collect as many pens as I do and I will see you all in my next video thanks now bye